Hello there and welcome to the C++ basic tutorial presented to you by the Code Brewery. I Ridesh Shala is here to help you with the course and please do like, subscribe, comment and share with your fellow mates to help them to help them discover with the basics of C++. Now we'll start with the C++ operators. What is a C++ operator? An operator is a symbol that tells the compiler to perform a specific mathematical or logical manipulations. And C++ is rich in built-in operators. Trust me. The types of operators are the which we'll be studying: arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, assignment operators, and misc or miscellaneous operators. Now, in this section, we will examine the arithmetic, relational, logical, bitwise assignment, and other operators one by one. First, we'll see about arithmetic operators. To understand the arithmetic operators, we will take an example of let a equal to 6 and b equal to 12. For first, we will see that when for the plus operator, b it adds two operands, then a plus b will give us 18, minus subtract second operator from the first, a minus b will give us minus 6, asterisk or multiply, multiply as both operand a into b will give 72, a slash or dividing operator it will divide numerator by denominator as b by a will give us 2 modulo modulus operator and remainder of after an integer division it will give the remainder b modulo a will give us 0 plus plus increment operator increases integer value by 1 a plus plus will give us 7 minus minus decrement operator will decrease the value by integer value by 1 a minus minus will give us 5. The second is relational operators. Here also we let a equal to 6 and b equal to 12. Now if we see double equal to, it means that uh, we are comparing that they, whether they are equal or not. Checks if the value of two operands are, are equal or not. If yes, then condition becomes true or else it is false. A equivalent to b is not true here not equal to second one is not equal to we write it as exclamation mark and an equal to sign it checks if the value of two operands are equal or not if values are not equal then the condition becomes true as a not equal to b is true the greater than operator checks whether the left operand is greater than the value of right operand if yes then the condition becomes true as we can see a is greater than b is not true less than operator checks if the value of left operand is less than the value of the right operand if yes then the condition becomes true a is less than b which is true greater than equal to checks if the value of left operand is greater than or equal to the value of right operand if yes then the condition becomes true a is greater than and equal to b it is not true less than equal to checks if the value of left operand is less than or equal to the value of right operand if yes then the condition becomes true a is less than equal to b which we can see is true if we talk about the third type of operators which are logical operators here we take a equal to 1 and b as 0 if we see first operator there are 2 ampersand called logical and operator if both the operands are non-zero then condition becomes true a m percent m percent sign and b is false since one is one since a is one and b is zero now these are now the second one is or operator these are two straight lines which we can see above the enter button which we can use by clicking shift and with the forward slash of forward slash key these are called the logical or operator if any one of the two operands is non-zero then condition becomes true a not a or b is true and the third one is not called logical not operator used to reverse the logical state of its operand if a condition is true then logical not operator will make it false okay now we, if we move on to the fourth one fourth one is the bitwise operators here we take in example let a equal to 63 and b equal to 30 its first operator is ampersand sign 
binary and operator copy is a bit to the result if it exists in both operands we can see as an example a ampersand b will give 12 which is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. or symbol a binary or operator copy is a bit if it exists in either operand a or b will give 61 which is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. this is power symbol binary xor it is used as an xor operator copy is the bit if it is set in one operand but not both a power b will give 49 which is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. operator which we it is a tilde symbol binary ones com complement operator is unary and has its, has the effect of flipping bits now we can see that uh, tilde symbol a will give negative 60, 61 which is 1100 in two's complement form due to signed binary numbers two less than operators binary left shift operator it is called as the left operands value is moved to left by the number of bits specified by the right operand a binary left shift operator 2 will give 240 which is 11111 and tetra 0 2 greater than operators or binary right shift operator the left operands value is moved right by the number of bits specified by the right operand a 2 greater than symbol or binary right shift operator 2 will give a15 which is triple tetra 0 and tetra 1 fifth one are assignment operators we can see an assignment operator first one is equal to symbol simple assignment operator assigns values from right side operand to left side operand an example we can see c is equal to a plus b which will assign value of a plus b into c plus equal to add and operator it adds right operand to the left operand and assign the result to the left operand c plus equal to a which will be equivalent to c equal to c plus a minus equal to subtract and operator subtract and assignment operator it subtracts right operand from the left operand and assign the result to the left operand c minus equal to a is equivalent to c equal to c minus a asterisk equal to or multiply equal to multiply and assignment operator it multiplies right operand with the left operand and assign the result to left operand c into equal to a is equivalent to c equal to c into a now divide equal to divide and assignment operator it divides left operand with the right operand and assign the result to the left operand c divide equal to a is equivalent to c equal to c by a modulo equal to modulus and assignment operator it takes modulus using two operands and assign the result to the left operand c modulo equal to a is equivalent to c equal to c modulo a as you can see these are also called shorthand operations also which we'll use in most of the times now we'll move on to our last topic the last one is the misc operators or miscellaneous operators first we'll see size of size of operator returns the size of a variable for example size of a where a is an integer and will return value 4 condition question mark x semicolon and y this is a ternary operator conditional operator also known as if condition is true then it returns value of x otherwise it returns value of y comma comma operator causes a sequence of operations to be performed the value of the entire comma expression is the value of the last expression of the comma separated list dot and hyphen and greater than symbol or arrow member operators are used to reference individual members of classes structures and unions next is cast casting operator convert one data type to another for example int 2 comma 2000 would return to ampersand pointer operator ampersand returns the address of a variable for example ampersand a will give actual address of the variable asterisk or pointer operator is pointer to a variable for example point uh, asterisk var will pointer to a variable var these are the topic of pointers and which we will learn in some of the coming videos 
these are on intermediate and after advanced level i hope that you understood the topic well and if you have any queries please put down them in the comment and that was the wrap for the topic please do like subscribe share and comment and share with your fellow mates and spread the knowledge and we'll see you in the next uh, next lecture